unto your enemies. And then, talk about the modern day Egypt. Talk about America. We were sold unto our enemies. When we were brought over here, we were brought over here as we were sold on auction blocks. Matter of fact, one of the one of the auction blocks, they used to have auction blocks, not only in the South, but they had auction blocks on um, I think it was it in New York. Yeah, Wall, Wall Street. Street. Wall Street was a uh, was a was a was a um, was a slave port. Okay? And the ship used to come in and um down here. That's where they built the World Trade Center. The old World Trade Center before it fell, it was built on where they used to sell slaves. They used to slave very uh, well. They they used to they, the um the slaves used to the slave ships used to come to what what part of Brooklyn? Um, Red no, it wasn't Red It was uh I I forget. I forget. But it might be Red Hook, but the Slaves used to come to New York. The Slaves, they, they had uh, auction blocks right here in New York. Go ahead. For bond men and bond women. For bond men and bond women. So not only was the black man brought over to America as a slave, the black woman was brought over to America as a slave. And in the Caribbean Island. And notice that most I said unto your enemy. So the, most, so the white man who had you in slavery is not your friend. They're all your enemies. I know you might say, oh, I got some white friends, they cool with me. The only reason why they're cool with you, why? Because some of them, had, they have to live amongst us, or they have to work amongst us on our job. And a lot of them are friends with people that you sleep. That's what you don't know. Yeah, that's, that's right. You, Yo, this, you said it better than I did. They will always say that, man. You, when you find out. a lot of your friends because you sleep. You know what I'm saying, Dan. Tell them what's wrong with you. You're not questioning nothing. So, they're going to stay amongst you anyway, so I keep it in the industry. Right. Right. Exactly. But here's the thing. Hold on, brother. Here's the thing. When you go to work tomorrow and you tell a white co-worker that you found out you're an Israelite, watch how they flip on you. Right. They're not going to be your friend no more. Right. When you woke up and said, you know what? I found out the Jews were black. The real Jews. Not the Ethiopians, but the real Jews. I found out Moses was black. King David was black. Solomon was black. And I found out the slaves that came over here are the real Jews. Shit, I'm a Jew. God damn it. Tell them just like that. Real quick, real quick, quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on This is the litmus yeah. test to find out how, 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 how your so-called white friends will receive you or maintain their friendship with you after you tell them the truth. Tell your so-called white friends that God is black, that Jesus oh, yeah. is black, this, this that the angels are black, that's right. and, that you're, and, that, and that the Israelites are black, and that you're God's chosen people. That's we'll, right. see, we'll see how fast or how swiftly they'll terminate their so-called friendship with okay. you. Okay. 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 So about that right there, about the... the, the well, you got a whole lot of people here, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, but we want to continue. We're going to get to this because these are the angels. I know, I know about this. Right, but we're gonna for the edification of all our brothers and sisters. Let me yeah. get to this question. You you uh, explain how um, Jesus look like. Right. How he's supposed to look like. We're in the year 2012 right now. How does he look like today? Say hey. that again. How does he, Jesus Christ look today? Oh, how does he look today? Yes. The, 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 same, the same way he looked when he appeared to John. Is, is that I got, I got you the scripture for you, brother. Let the old scripture say so. No, that's Let the scripture say so. That's the New Testament and the Old Testament it's telling both. you that. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is, this is Hebrews matter. chapter... Hold on, hold on. This is Hebrews both. chapter 13, verse 8. It says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday right, and today and forever. That's right. So, so basically, what Jesus Christ looked like when he when he was alive right. is the same way he looked like when he ascended into the spiritual world. Because when you die, your spirit leaves your physical body, but you still you still maintain the same you same still the same way. features that you had. When this you, you, this is just an outer shell for your spirit. Your spirit is not is not some cloud of steam just floating through the sky somewhere. It has it has Can I ask something? Because you kind of hinted at something that's a real problem with our people, man. They have this problem with the Bible because they always heard things about King James. Now, no disrespect to you. But what do you know about King James? What did you hear? You heard it's a bad guy? I don't, I don't, I don't you know anything. I don't know nothing. I respect that. I only know, I only know about the new people. Okay. Yeah, he said something about King James. You mentioned King James. You know what I'm saying? Don't run away from the Bible because it's the King James version. This is the right there with the Bible. What's going on today? You know what I mean? Thank you for the information, though. Hold on. I don't want to stop.
Go ahead, brother. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna let you come in, Lamar. I'm gonna let you call. Let's finish with the rest of the season. Yeah. Let's 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 go to uh, continue and do the run. Because we have to prove it's our job to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are the you are the twelve tribes of Israel. And with, and, with, and, and with knowing that you're held accountable, you know what I'm saying? That's why we come out here. We don't come out here for entertainment. This right. is our right. day off, man. We sacrificing our day off. We sacrificing our time, our money. We even putting our life on the line. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you got so-called black leaders doing the civil rights movements who were who were who were uh, who were um who were killed for saying way less than we than what we right. say now. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So it got to be a higher power that's protecting us. Well, not only that, but being in the time that we're in right now, which is the age of the Aquarius, it's all knowing. Right. Everybody wants to know. Right. So right. nothing is going to be left down. Right. Everything has got, it got to rise. Right. 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 So they have no choice but to let it come through. Right. How many right. It's only going to be a little less. Exactly. 144,000 in one third. Yeah. When you look at the ancient Roman society, one of the ways that they would keep the riots down in the city and keep the people sleeping, they fed them a lot of entertainment. That's when you get sports like boxing and yeah. gladiator fighting and stuff like that. That would keep the people from rioting and keep yeah. their minds for them. Yeah, it's not ritual. So what is now? You got PS3, you know what I'm saying? You got Xbox 360, you got MTV, VH1, basketball wise. You have all the stuff to keep spells. you spells to keep you yeah. blinded because you're so obsessed with somebody else's life. You're so obsessed with knowing what Beyonce's babies are like. You're so obsessed with knowing how much money Jay-Z got. Right. You're so obsessed with getting cars like Rick Ross that you don't have time for now. That's our people. Bro. That's right. That's our people. That's right. That's what's going on. Right. Right. What, right. What, what, what's going on today as we speak? The 2004 Olympics. Being that was a whole ritual. Right. From, a whole from ritual. ancient Rome. Yeah. Right. Those, 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 those They're trying to bring ancient. Rome back, which is Hitler and all of them. Right, but right. Not but, uh, but we're just we're just using that as an example. But that's what, that, it, that's that's what it is. That's one of yeah. the instruments that's being used to mislead our people. Yeah. Let's continue. Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm gonna start from verse 43. It says, the stranger that is that is within thee no. shall not verse 15. Verse 15 again. But it shall come to pass. No, no, verse 16. No man shall speak. You gotta make sure you tell me about it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And no man shall buy you. And no what and no man shall buy you. What does the word buy mean? The word buy means to redeem or save. And the most high saying that. That no man is going to save our people out of the condition that they're in. Poverty, crime, oppression, okay? And as a nation of people, we haven't been delivered. You had a lot of good, you had a, you had a lot of people that rose up in prominence that had good intentions, like Malcolm X, like Elijah Muhammad when he started the nation of Islam, okay? Uh, Louis Farrakhan, uh, Marcus Garvey when he started pan Basically a Even Martin this Luther King Jr. was religious to a certain degree. Life. They had a lot of good intentions, but they couldn't deliver our people. Why? Because they wasn't teaching our people as to who they are. In order for us to be the first to lift it up, what you come and step in over here and ask a question. We have to repent. Then don't sidebar that. Well, let's go that way to Israel. These are part of our camp. We are one. No, no, no. She's watching. It doesn't matter. It's discipline and order. We have a question. Come on, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It says, But it shall come to pass, and thou will not be hearkened unto the voice of the stranger that is within thee. But it shall come to pass, and thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments which I have commanded thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee. Oh, you know what that was? That was the parable of the sower, man. The scriptures speak about when the word of the Most High is going forth, you always have a wicked one that comes yeah. and tries to take away the emphasis of right. the Most High, man. Alright, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's go. Verse 16. Verse 16. Go down Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. The city represents. Re represents, uh, like, like for example, Bronx, the borough of Bronx. Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, where the majority of our people live at. And when you look around, the majority of the so-called blacks and Hispanics that, that live in New York, that live in the city, they live where? 
they live in the ghetto. And inside the ghetto, where do we live? We live in we live in poverty. Okay? We live in the project, okay? When you read the Bible, every man, every family is supposed to have their own house with land. Did you know that? Every family is supposed to have their own house with land. You're not supposed to live in an apartment building 20 and 30 stories high, okay? You're supposed to have your own land with projects, okay? That's a curse. Living in the projects, it's a curse. Regardless, regardless, regardless of what your favorite rapper tells you, like Rob D, they used to say, no matter how much money I get, I'm never moving out to the project. But come to find out that Havoc lived, lived in a big house in New Rochelle, okay? So your rappers are lying to you, okay? Your Jay-Z is always big enough Marcy Projects, but you don't live in Marcy Projects, okay? Go ahead. And, hold on. The city, what else, what, what other deplorable conditions that, that, are, that are overwhelming our people inside the city, okay? Section 8. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Living on Section 8. That's a curse from God. Not having your own. Being dependent on Section 8. Right. Section 8. Food stamps. Right. Food stamps. Welfare. With each shit. Even the WIC program. All that is a curse. Okay? And the majority of our people. I'm not talking about the ones, we're not talking about the, it, it, you can even apply the ones that do have money. Because as long as they have to do what the white man says in order for them to maintain their so-called wealth. Okay? But the, when you look at the majority of our people, we're living in abstract poverty. Okay? Go ahead. And her shalt thou be in the field. In the field represents anywhere outside of the city, mainly the suburbs. Now when black people and Hispanic people go to get houses in the suburbs, they, they think they're, they're, they're living a better life, but not knowing that, that we're still under the curses. Why? Because when black people started to move out, when black people do, started to uh, get houses, what did the Klan do? The Klan used to fire bomb their houses and burn crosses on their lawns, right? So that's a curse, okay? Also, when, when uh, black people start obtaining houses, don't you know they consider that, um, the more and more blacks and Hispanics start uh, obtaining houses, don't you know they can appreciate the, the value, the value of that house depreciates, and, 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 and the banks purposely raise the interest rate so you, for you to go into foreclosure. So when you lose your house in foreclosure, that's a curse. Yeah, but okay? they're getting in trouble for that right now. Right, but regardless, yeah. you're still under the curse. With whether they're getting in trouble or not. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but none of this is it's not going to be better right now. It's only going to get worse, okay? And the only way you're going to survive is by repenting and coming back to the Lord's statutes and commandments of the heavenly Father. Let's continue. Verse 17. Her shall be thy basket and thy store. Her shall be thy basket. Your basket is what? Something you use to store with. Your, your basket is talking about your savings account. And when you look at it, the majority of our people, we don't have a savings account. And if we do, we just use it for direct deposit. The majority of our people live from check to check, or they're dependent on the on their welfare check for the, from the first and the fifteenth in order to survive. Okay, that's why the whole country is hurting our basket, meaning we won't have any money in our savings account. How many black people that live amongst you in the ghettos and that live amongst you in the projects got ten thousand dollars in their bank account? Or, or shit, got even a thousand dollars. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what that's what God is saying. That's right. what God said. Go ahead. A curse shall be the um, curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Okay, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. And this, what is the store? 